Hey, my name's John Doolittle. I'm a uh, retired Navy SEAL uh, captain. I spent 25 years in the SEAL teams. I traveled a lot during my time in the teams. I currently travel a lot with Katsu. The use of Katsu as a jet lag tool to help eliminate jet lag, to help get you back on your circadian rhythm, it's being used in the military for exactly that reason with our operational forces that are going multiple time zones away and they need to get on their circadian rhythm as quickly as possible. Uh, unfortunately, when I was serving in the teams, I didn't have that capability. Now the guys do have that capability. They absolutely love it. Simple Katsu cycles is what it's all about. Katsu cycles at the airport, Katsu cycles on the aircraft, Katsu cycles upon arrival at your destination, especially right before you want to go to sleep. The essence of Katsu is you take patented elastic pneumatic bands. You put them on your upper arms or on the leg bands. You put them on your upper legs as high as they'll go on your legs. And the idea when you're doing the Katsu cycles is if you're on the aircraft, just relax. Just relax. Let the machine do all the work. The machine, the device, will start at a little bit of pressure, hold it for 30 seconds, release the pressure, a little more pressure, hold it for 30 seconds, release the pressure, and it will do that over and over again. As your body experiences the Katsu cycle, you're physically stretching open capillaries that are distal or downrange of the bands. If you're wearing the leg bands, all the capillaries and blood vessels in your legs fully dilate during the pressure phase and then they relax. Dilation, relaxation. Stretching it open, relaxing. Each time your vascular tissue changes like that, you're creating nitric oxide. You're essentially exercising vascular tissue from the inside out. It's absolutely genius. It's very simple, but it's very effective. And when you're doing these katsu cycles, your body will naturally start to dip into the parasympathetic state. Many of us, if we're elite athletes, tactical athletes like I was, or if you're an Olympic athlete, a lot of people get stuck in what we call the fight or flight or the sympathetic state. When you do very gradual katsu cycles, maybe some light stretching or shoulder rolls or neck stretching, when you do katsu cycles, your body naturally flows into the parasympathetic state, which sets you up for sleep and rest and recovery type sleep. A key aspect of the katsu jet lag protocols is to do katsu cycles after your travel, right before you go to sleep. Within that first half hour when you wanna be asleep, do some light katsu cycles. It doesn't need to be heavy pressure. Cycle on, 30 seconds of pressure, five seconds off. 30 seconds, a little more pressure, five seconds off. It has a very calming effect on your body. It brings the body into that parasympathetic state and helps you achieve stage three and stage four recovery sleep very quickly. It's very, very effective. Whether you're a tactical athlete, an Olympian athlete, or just a businessman, businesswoman. This is next level technology to help people deal with jet lag.